Now, beyond virtual reality, we are also focused on the hardware to make true augmented reality possible. In a lot of ways, augmented reality is even harder, not just because we need to invent a completely new optical stack that's not based on screens, but because we basically need to fit a supercomputer into a pair of normal looking glasses. So we're approaching this problem from two directions. First, how much technology can we pack into a pair of normal, great looking glasses today? And second, how do we take the long-term tech stack to do everything and keep miniaturizing and improving it until it fits into a pair of normal, good looking glasses? On the first path, last month we launched Ray-Ban Stories, our first smart glasses in partnership with SLR Luxottica. They're not full AR glasses yet, but they let you take pictures and videos, listen to music and take phone calls while you're out looking at the world instead of down at your phone. And we built leading privacy features into the glasses, like the LED light whenever you're recording, which phones don't even have. And we delivered this in the iconic Ray-Ban style for just $2.99. These are all steps along the path to an embodied internet. But the ultimate goal here is true augmented reality glasses. And we've been working on that too. And today, I wanna to show you an experience that we've been working on for Project Nazare, which is the code name for our first full augmented reality glasses. Here, you'll see you're chatting with friends on WhatsApp and planning a game night. You can select a game, and then as you walk over to your kitchen, you can easily just put your game onto the table and you're off. And that's the kind of experience that augmented reality will unlock. There's a lot of technical work to get this form factor and experience right. We have to fit hologram displays, projectors, batteries, radios, custom silicon chips, cameras, speakers, sensors to map the world around you, and more into glasses that are about five millimeters thick. So we still have a ways to go with Nazare, but we are making good progress.